Hey everyone, welcome back. I have been trying to film this for a while and noises, noises everywhere. Bear with me. So, you will have seen in my last video that I went to a wedding and wore this beautiful dress, but what I failed to mention, I think, is that the wedding was actually in Portugal, so it was kind of a little trip that we took. So basically, what I thought we could do today is go back in time and show you how I packed for that trip, which was a 72-hour trip, so a short one, but the thing is, I only took a little carry-on and a personal item so these are the two elements that I can actually take with me on the plane I didn't buy any extra luggage so we have to be very smart about how we pack for this and still look well-dressed and presentable and chic which is what we all love so let's get to it because I want to get very deep into the details of how I like to pack all right so first tip that I think you have to take into consideration are the events that you have planned of course a trip has to have space for improvisation and just doing things last minute but if you do have things that you want to do or that you have already scheduled those are the things that you have to dress to and are non-negotiables on your closet that for me is the wedding which is the dress that i already showed you in my last video but also a rehearsal dinner which for that i am wearing wait this little number from H&M, it is a navy one shoulder little dress. I love that even though it is one shoulder, the length of it goes to my knees. So it's not too much exposure, it's not too much skin showing and it also allows me to play with accessories really well. I will wear this with the exact same sandals that I wore with my dress for the wedding just because I don't think it makes sense to take two special occasion sandals in such a short trip. We're just going to do these two things and then come back. So I took these ones which are from Zara, they're really old, I'm sorry. But the point is that they are neutral enough that you can wear them with anything but they look elegant enough that it can pull up an outfit and make it a little bit more chic and with the dress I will be pairing it with my mango earrings that I showed you in a haul before I think and this little parfois elasticated bracelet I think that a one shoulder with a cuff bracelet like this looks so classic and so beautiful and so sophisticated with a glass of champagne it's what dreams are made of and as a bag i am taking my little louis vuitton pochette and this is something that i do not only with traveling but also with my work bag i put all of my essentials here and then given that i can take a bigger bag as a personal item i'll just throw it in and I'll stick in here also some essentials for the trip itself. So maybe my computer, a book. I will also put all of my liquids here because it's easier to reach and to access. So basically just taking advantage of a bigger bag to put a few accessories in as well. My jewelry will also come with me in this bag. And given that this bag is such a basic, I can wear it during the evening in a more special event, but I can also wear it during the day. I can just switch around the little strap, make it kind of like a little wrist thing and it is very practical. For the wedding itself, I put my dress inside a bag. This is a laundry bag that I had just so that nothing tugs on it. It is silk, so it's very delicate in terms of material and it's also a little bit more separate. So when I get to my destination, I can take all of the clothes away, but this stays put and nothing can happen to it. Then you wanna think about what you're going to wear day to day. I like choosing a color palette for this purpose and you will see that I went with blacks, browns, tans, creams and whites so everything is complementary, everything can be mixed and matched without a lot of thinking and I'm taking two dresses, one that is very easy to style with a belt, you can style it without a belt, you can put it on with flats and still look kind of presentable for a restaurant for instance 
instance and this one which is a caftan again you can wear this during the day maybe a little bit looser and then in the evening if you want to put your hair up put on some metallic flats and a belt got yourself an outfit as well then the five tops that i'm taking are really easy to mix and match i have a very basic black t-shirt with the higher neckline which you guys know i love then i have this little shell in a more light fabric and an ivory creamy beige that really complements not only accessories but also any type of bottoms that i choose to wear just because a cream goes really well either with blacks and with browns but also with whites then I'm taking this shirt. It is a linen shirt from Uniqlo that has the shorter sleeves. Normally for traveling, I would press and steam everything. But since I'm going to Portugal, my parents live there and we're staying over there. So I'll just press my things when I get there. This way I don't have to do it twice, but you can absolutely do it beforehand and just roll your clothes to make sure that they don't crease. And when you get to your hotel or to your destination, just hang them up. And if you're taking a shower, a steamy shower, you hang them on the door and all the creases that might have formed will go away. Also taking this little shirt from Zara, it is a knit. So Portugal is a little bit windier than Milan and I think this is also a great tip when you're packing Don't pack thinking about the place that you're at but think about the place that you're going It seems kind of obvious, but it is a very slight difference in weather between here and Portugal so you might end up packing things that for instance here is really 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 hot you do not need a sweater i cannot think of putting things with sleeves on i cannot think of wearing closed shoes whereas in portugal there is a little bit of more of a breeze in the evenings it gets a little bit colder so you have to take that into consideration don't fall into the trap of thinking that the place you're going is the same place you're in and finally i have my brown Kind of espresso brown linen shirt from H&M. This is a great piece to have during the summertime just because you can pair it in so many ways. You can layer it. If you have something that is lighter or a little uncovered underneath, you can put on a linen shirt and use it as a little layer or you can use this as a proper shirt under a jacket or something like that. It's a great little partner. For bottoms, I'm only taking two. So one is my classic white denim pants. These are high-waisted, so they will look good with any of those tops. And I'm also taking these shorts, which might seem like a wild card, but it's actually very easy to style. The fact that it is an animal print that has, again, some cream in it and has some black goes with all of the tops that I showed you. So for instance, if you pair this with the t-shirt, got yourself a look. Pair this with the shirt, got yourself a look. Even with the longer sleeve shirt, got yourself a look and everything matches. So that is the whole point of doing this exercise beforehand with a little bit of calm because you'll actually take efficient and easy to style pieces instead of your whole wardrobe. You don't want to be spending your vacation time figuring out what you're going to wear. You have to enjoy it and look fabulous in the process. And to cover myself a little bit, if it eventually gets a little bit breezier and chillier, I love the idea of these little, I don't know how to call them, are they like kimonos or maybe just a sort of, it's not a jacket, it's not a coat, it's not a knit, just something that you throw on. Basically, if you start getting a little bit cold, this is a very light see-through material that doesn't get creased, so it's great for trips and you basically just throw it on and you feel a little bit warmer but not overheating which i think is key especially for summer vacation i would never take a jacket i would never take a blazer i think that would be too much but something like this already gives you that coverage and it's also great for instance if you're going to visit a church or a cathedral or a mosque you can just fold it up throw it in your bag, and when you get there, you put it on. When you go outside where it's warm, you take it off. 
easy peasy and I'm taking a white and a black because it will go with any of the outfits that I am taking so for instance let's pretend that I want to wear this dress for dinner but it's a little bit chilly a little bit cold I can just throw on the little black kimono and you have yourself some coverage you can also belt it by the way to give it a little bit more shape and structure with some of the belts that i'm about to show you now accessories are a must when you're traveling because they will take your outfit from one occasion to the other without having to take up too much space so what i am taking is a very simple belt that looks quite classic and is great for cinching in the shorts that I showed you, also the jeans that I showed you, but also to close up the poncho. Let me... I can just close it up and get myself a very different look. You can also leave this a little bit more open. You can add a little bit more fabric to add some movement. It's just the kind of thing that allows you to play around with styling without having to add too much volume to the very limited space that you have in your suitcase. I'm also taking my new one from Parfois. This is the one that wraps around. And I think this will be great for every outfit that I showed you. I wouldn't wear this maybe with jeans because I think they don't go together very well. But for instance, with the caftan that I showed you, let's see if I can wrap this around. Of course, my, my waist is not this thin, but just to give you an idea of what the addition of a belt can do to such a collar block piece like this. Not only will it add a structure, so it will cinch you in, make you look a little bit more hourglass, but actually the addition of a collar in your waist will give it a little bit more interest. And I am also taking a metallic elastic belt. This is a great finishing touch, especially if you want to make a very basic look into something that is a little bit more glamorous and evening appropriate to cinch in a dress like this, the caftan, all of these little details really help you out. Other than the high heel sandals that I'm taking, I'm also taking my best friends in the whole world, the T-strap flat sandals in black and also in gold. Black for every day, gold for special moments, for dinners, for cocktails. I don't think you need heels for every situation that is evening time. Pairing the caftan with the metallic little flats. How elegant and unexpected yet extremely elevated does that look? You add maybe a bracelet and a headband and you got yourself a very powerful yet understated look. Then for the plane ride, just because I don't like having my toes exposed on planes, it's just a thing of mine, I am wearing just some basic belly flats that are here somewhere, but I right now cannot find it. So just keep in mind, belly flats. Maybe I'll pop a picture of my airport look right here. Other than my little Louis Vuitton clutch, and my bigger longchamp bag. I am actually taking this little number as well. I love this bag so much. Such a beautiful bag because it goes with everything during the summer. You can take off the straps and turn it into a clutch. You can make it a little bit more casual if you wear it crossbody like this. You can wear it over your shoulder in a little bit more feminine, charming way. It fits everything that I need and the material screams summer, so it's a great little thing. It's not too big, so it won't take up too much space in my bag. I'll actually empty it out and you will see that it basically turns paper thin. In terms of jewelry, I have said this before, I think that you can take as much jewelry as you want to because they don't take up any space at all it's the easiest thing to just transform a look is doing it with jewelry i am taking a few these ones which even though are a little more statement i do feel like they are easy to style and easy to pair with basically anything put your hair up in a bun and they make your outfit these are the ones that i'll wear to the wedding i will have shown you this before but just to give you an idea again 
also taking my little knots that go with everything as well great for the daytime to add that extra jolt of glamour without going too overboard and i'm actually also taking this necklace which i think can be worn in so many ways this type of very simple very understated design will go with daytime looks but it will also complement a lot of nighttime ones same thing with this type of bracelet so even though i am a big proponent of statement jewelry of bam ultra glamorous jewelry having these little basics in your jewelry wardrobe will help taking the questioning and the thinking out of the process of getting ready something else that i also like to take with me now this is kind of maybe high maintenance but it's just a thing of mine in my shoe collection video i mentioned that i am a little bit crazy about cleaning my shoes that after i wear them i like to wipe them out so what i'll do is i'll take some antibacterial wipes put them in a ziploc bag for the amount of days that i'm going to be wearing my shoes and then when i get to my destination i can still keep my obsession with keeping my shoes clean alive you don't have to do this if you're not like me but if you are this is my little tip for you in terms of beauty and toiletries i keep everything in this huge gigantic pouch one thing that i will do though is because i will wear my biba palette to the wedding from natasha Denona. I will take this in my personal items bag just so that it doesn't break or doesn't get any type of impact into it and I am aware of it all of the time and as I mentioned the liquids are going with me as well so this is it everyone this is everything that I'm taking I think it is a very acceptable amount of clothes that will make me look good but won't take up too much space in my bag you will have seen that I didn't add any scarves to this selection because this is something that I actually like to buy when I travel so I will probably come back with a few new scarves as well which is always a great thing let me know down in the comments if you have any tips for packing for short trips for long trips for trips in general I am always trying to be more organized about it I even use those little packing cubes when I pack just to have very compartmentalized sections in my bag but if you have any other tips that you would like to share leave them down below and we'll see each other again next time bye